Hello everybody. Good morning again. Bonjour tout le monde. I'm uh, very happy to uh, welcome here you here at this congress um, uh, with on ecological production and I think as you all know next weekend a very important climate uh, top in Paris will start for two weeks where I think we all hope that the world leaders will come to an agreement to binding climate uh, goals and if they really do that this means that we will have to reduce our use of resources with a factor 10. Now a factor 10 that's an enormous challenge and we will never achieve this goal within, within our current production model. A model that still for a big part is a linear model of taking resources, making products, using products and then dumb them. Uh, if you take the example of Europe and electronic waste, we only at this moment recycle one third of all our computers, smartphones, televisions. The rest is exported and it isn't really uh, recycled in a good way. And we have examples of small villages at the coastline in Ghana where you see dump places uh, outside of our computers and smartphones. And this is also from an economic point of view a very stupid thing to do because all these old computer smartphones, they contain a lot of very valuable metals. So it's estimated only our electronic waste is something like 2 billion euros we just throw away every year. And besides, of course, you have the as serious ecological damage and the social issue. So therefore, we have to look for new concepts, new ways of industry, new ways of production. And therefore, within the green movement, uh, with the support of the Green European Foundation. Nine national green foundations have been working a whole year long on ecological production, new concepts. Uh, we consider ourselves a bit like the avant-garde, uh, introducing new ideas in a world that seems to still seems to think that tomorrow can be the continuation of today, which of course is not true. So what we aim at with this project is spreading new ideas and starting also fruitful dialogues with partners in society. And so to give uh, an example, two days ago we had a conference in Zagreb, today we're here in Brussels and next week we are spreading the same ideas in Budapest. So it's really a European uh, network we're setting up. And I think today we explore one dimension of this new economy we need it's a sustainable circular economy. Uh, and this is really a new industrial model that focuses on the maximal reuse of products, of materials and resources. So actually the end game must be there is no such thing as waste. We don't, we st we don't take resources anymore out of nature. We keep them in the circle. So this, of course, is, uh, means we have to change everything. Uh, this is also what Naomi Klein says. Uh, this changes everything, this new model. And in a way, it's also about keeping value in society. Every product we use, whether it's a smartphone or maybe a table, actually, it presents a lot of value. There's labor invested in this product, there's money invested, there are resources, and so we have to keep the value in the loop. Now, I think this afternoon we have some very interesting speakers, and to give an overview, uh, first, I'm very happy that he's here. We will have Andreas Novi, he's from the Austrian Green Foundation, and he, gi he will give a kind of general view not only on economics, but a broader view on the way for forward we have to go as society. Then uh, we will give the floor to Dirk van Sintian, 
who works uh, with ren renewable energy source cooperatives. And that's also very important because in a circular economy, loops only can be sustainable if we use renewable energy to feed them. Huh? For instance, you can, re we, you can take the metals out of a smartphone, but therefore you need high temperature. If you, if you use fossil fuels to, to heat your oven, it's not sustainable. So we really need a lot of renewable energy. Then afterwards from Amsterdam, we have Miquel Ballester. Uh, the, the example of Fairphone, which is really a very good example that today it is possible to make products that you can take apart, where you can replace the battery, where you can place, replace el other elements. So we don't have to throw away a smartphone because the battery was planned to go out after two years. Okay, then I'm also very happy to have Mia Hoodfink here from Rico, which is a big international company making photocopy machines and things like that. And it's very interesting to see that also in big, some big companies, they are really trying to introduce as maximum as possible this concept of circular economy. Uh, and then, because politics matter, we end with uh, Wouter van Bezien who, as a Green MP, will look as, from the perspective as a Flemish, from the Flemish region, can we make Flanders a real circular region? And then, of course, as it always goes in Belgium, we end with a nice drink with uh, circular products, I would say, all biodegradable. So I hope you have a very nice afternoon, and I want to, int I want to invite Andreas to the floor. Thank you.